Hello and welcome to an FPGA vision video. I want to have a look at the different types of power consumption and make a small experiment with some free spray. As a reminder, there are two different types of power consumption in a digital circuit. We have static power consumption due to leakage of the transistors in the circuit and we have dynamic power consumption due to switching at the internal nodes of a circuit. You find more about this in a separate video in the FPGA Vision Lecture series and the video is called Low Power Design. So you can go there and look for further information. For experiment we use a uh, Cyclone 5 FPGA which is fabricated in 28 nanometer CMOS technology and uh, we will implement a test circuit on this FPGA. This test circuit is a large shift register that takes the input of a video signal. These are 24-bit for red, green, blue color components. Plus we have three sync signals, which are vertical sync, horizontal sync and data enable. And we delay this 24-bit plus 3-bit, so 27-bit, by uh, 1200 flip-flops. This is a test circuit uh, that uses uh, most of the uh, flip-flops in the FPGA and it's um, there to create power consumption. We also have a switch to disable the input clock so that we don't have any activity in our circuit and uh, we only will see the static power consumption. This design is just a test circuit so that we can see both types of power consumption and we will use some free spray to cool down the FPGA. Now we are in the lab and we have a setup where we have our FPGA board with uh, the power supply. We have an ampere meter and uh, to monitor the output uh, we have a monitor. And uh, we have one of our test images uh, which is shown here. The image goes uh, through the FPGA with the shift register. And uh, with a switch we can switch off the clock so that um, we don't have uh, an image anymore. Let's now have a look at the power consumption. We measure a core current of uh, 153 milliamperes and uh, the supply voltage for the FPGA is 1.1 volt. If we switch off the clock, this changes the core current to 27 milliamps. And now we take uh, the free spray to cool down the FPGA and make another measurement. At room temperature we have about 27 milliamps when we switched off all internal operations. Now we cool down the FPGA and this goes down to about 19 milliamps, 18 milliamps. We switch back on the processing and it goes up to 144 milliamps. When we multiply the currents we have measured with the core voltage of 1.1 volt, we get the power consumption. And um, when we subtract total power consumption and static power consumption, we get the dynamic power consumption. Comparing values for room temperature and with free spray, we see that the static power consumption is significantly reduced at lower temperatures. We get a decrease by about one third, while the dynamic power consumption stays the same. Because we use the free spray, we only have a certain accuracy in the temperature that we achieved. So the measurements are not perfect, um, but they give you a very clear indication about temperature dependency uh, and also the differences between static and dynamic power consumption. I hope you found this video interesting and uh, there's more information about power consumption in the FPGA Vision Lecture on low power design, but you're also invited to have a look at the other videos in this lecture series. Thank you for your interest.